Yeah, welcome to Politics Watch JA. Right now we're gonna talk about the Vibes Cartel case. And you know say so we in a election season you now for so election I'll call it twenty sixth of February twenty twenty four. And put it this way if Vibes Cartel if Jamaican citizens were to vote for whether Vibes Cartel for stay in a prison, get a, a retrial are serve out the rest of the sentence i don't know well i think it's my opinion that jamaicans even though a lot of people hate vibes carter because of influence a lot of people would have vote for him get him freedom so today politics watch jay i gotta talk to justice and find out what him think about the first day a Vibes Cartel lawyers them submission to the Privy Council because Vibes Cartel case reached Privy Council and finally he must submit him case for trying to get him freedom. But you know, the prosecution is there, Paul Loyal is standing strong with the decision of the court. So we have three sources where we are going to read from today. We have the Gleaner. You have Nationwide and TVG News. So, if you're new to this channel, ask if you just subscribe and click the notification bell, comment, like, and share. So, Justice, you, 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 you follow the Vibes Cartel submission today? Affirmative on that. So, you know, you're. You know you're all right, remember, remember, first, let me read what the Gleaner say. The Gleaner say, Vibes Cartel jury issues dominate the first day of Privy Council hearing. All right, so they must say, um, um, the question of whether Justice Lennox Campbell was obligated to dismiss a, a, a tainted juror in the Vibes Cartel murder child appeared to be the issue which could determine the outcome of the entertainer's appeal of his 2040s conviction at the UK-based Privy Council. Alright, so people, you know what, it seems as if a Vibes Cartel alone appeal at the Privy Council. Um, his is, is, is co-accused are Sean Stam, which, which, which is Sean Campbell, Kaira Jones and Andre St. John. I'm going to just read some of my comments by people um, where, 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 where comment on Gleena Instagram page. One person right, natural juice, you figure world boss. With a fire emoji. Justice, you know, say I'm then called world boss. Justice? Um. World boss. The, uh, I have I, I have no regards for personal view as it relates to the nefarious buzzard. Nef nefarious. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, another person. Right? One thing I must say is that Isaac Buchanan should be proud of himself. From prison cell to presenting cases and representing appellants appellants in the f in front of privy council. Big move. So people them, them appraise Isaac Buchanan for him for him reach a stage where he can represent somebody at Privy Council. And every lawyer get a chance to represent somebody at Privy Council. Well, thank you, Mr. Buchanan. You have waved our flag high because of that. We are super proud of you. Just hope. You and your clients come out victorious. You're, you're proud of Isaac Buchanan justice? Isaac Buchanan is a full fledged buzzard who was brought to the noble position in the, the noble position in the disrepute. Uh, he, I, for one, uh, campaign heavily against him not to be admitted to the Jamaican bar. The Jamaican bar um, made a phenomenal. A phenomenal um, error by accepting him and they get a slap in their stupid face when he um 
disrespected the country's chief uh, lawyer. And oh, Paul Alloyland. That is correct. And he was justified to slap with a, um, a four year ban. He's a rogue and um, he has not done anything good for the noble profession. Alright, we're not. We don't have to we don't have to talk a little more about Isaac Buchanan. He's alright, he's alright. Let me see where you go. Alright, uh, another person right. Looking at it from a legal point of view, he should be freed. The system was eager to take him down as they totally forget about fair trial. Alright, now read the last one. Another person right. The justice system in Jamaica is a joke. Them put away enough innocent people all the time. So why why so much why so much people are lick up on the justice system? The vibes call they never get a fear child. The majority of the makers who post those messages are branded as it relates to uh, how the legal system works. No, not, but so why so many people are right the same thing? Because so many so because uh, a large number of them are again um, absolutely an embarrassed and ignorant of the law. Ignorant. Alright, so people, we are going over to Nationwide 90 FM Instagram page and read what they must say because they cover a story too. Defense lawyers represent the incarcerated dancer artist Vibes Cartel and his three co accusing the murder appeal. Um, now, before the Privy Council, I've raised question about the independent impartiality of the verdict handed down by the jurors in the March 20, 24, 2014 trial. What, what you say about this impartiality of the verdict handed down? I don't know what I mean because... Um, impartiality. It wasn't... It, uh, it, 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 uh, it wasn't impartial. Um, uh, uh, a decision and was based on the facts as presented and argued by um, the participants. The nationwide has said lawyers for cartel and his co accused have argued that an instance, an instance of jury tampering and jury management issues prejudice the case. Nonsense. Um, the the uh, the um, one of the jurors. Uh, was acting in the interest of the defendant. No, but just I, I, I mean acting in the interest. Trying to, trying to bribe the um the the um jurors to return a not guilty verdict. So not that the lawyers they must say it was no, tampering. Man. No, man. With no. the jury management. No man, no, no man. That's not tampering. No man, because um if it if it if it if it was for. The, uh, the persecution for them to return a um, uh, guilty verdict, then there will be a serious issue in terms of jury tampering. No, break that down for layman terms. In other words, um, the lone juror, the bad apple, so to speak, yeah. wanted um, his fellow jurors to return a not guilty verdict. Yes. The majority, the majority of the of the panel were opposed to that, preferring to judge the case on its merit. So, so I can't say how that how that um to be an issue. That can't be an issue. Uh, that can't be an issue. No. All right. So the defense also placed focus on the potential breach of rights to privacy concerning telecommunications evidence. Nonsense. Um, it was necessary. So, um, for the um, for the for the matter at on hand to be ventilated, and the information had to be sourced to ascertain facts, and it was court ordered. Nothing wrong with that. No breach. No breach. No breach at all. So you, you say it's it's okay for the court to um, go down in your personal personal. Constitutional rights and breach and go down the, and see your phone calls and all of them stuff. No, the so-called privacy had to do with um had to do with a murder case. The um the court wanted information to ascertain if the defendant uh was guilty or not. It served its purpose. 
serve his purpose. Mm -hmm. All right, one person right, if that's their main submission on day one, this is a losing effort. Indeed it is. You agree with that? Another person right wrote. Another person right on the matter of jurors, there was one juror that was arrested and charged for the bribe. Does this impact the matter of impartiality and fear hearing? The second question was that was that of the accidental meeting with one of the jurors and the mother of the defendant and what conversation they had and whether or not before the juror was discharged was there a poisoning of the other jurors with the information should the judge have gotten a whole new court of jurors again again the uh the the, um, the outcome of the case in that despite an attempt to influence the outcome the majority of the jurors 10 to 1 uh -huh. voted based on the facts of the matter so you think say vice carter lawyer need some stronger arguments for, 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 for success, successfully getting freedom he need compelling arguments, but the, but the issue is that there is none. There is none. An express right time for cartel putting some money in a, a escape plan and run leave the pagan them. That, that's an interesting um, proposal. While another person right look like it is going in cartel's favor, it is a good look. Not calling it, but it looks brighter on Cartel's side. I now watch the bugger chatting more them who just love chat without facts. And the appeal me ago after what it look and it look good so far. Another person right, this is a weak argument. Better have something stronger to hold on to. Another person right, from listening to the live hearing, the main focus on day one was whether the constitutional rights of the defendant was breached by the Jamaica Constabulary Force in obtaining electronic evidence from Digicel. Was the constitutional rights breached? No, man. Uh, it, no. It, um, it, it would have been a breach if the correct procedures were adhered to. Um, it is a quote ordered um all right ordinarily you couldn't get information ordinarily this uh, can't do that yeah a court order yes let me get passed around and, and it and it, it has been available because of a court order this person right the officer who requested the evidence was not authorized to do so according to the legislation and as a result the evidence should have been inadmissible in court this is what i get from the appellant just thus far the next section will focus on the jurors mm. so um <laughs> all right all right um another person KMDT rubbish the lawyer talking. They have no case if that's what they are arguing. Uh, so you think the vibes cartel lawyers need to become better in a day two? Yeah, because that won't get that won't get them nowhere, man. So you think you think it's still a win win it win it win it the appeal so far? Much too early days. Much too early. So if you was wife scarter, you know, how would you look? How you assess the case? Huh? How would that look for them? There has not been much information to make, um, to make a meaningful determination as to how the case is proceeding. Okay, okay. All right, viewers and subscribers, we are waiting till day two because at least... Today would have been we have it's to get five thirty, no? Five thirty the morning start. Basically yeah. time difference. Yeah. So so what 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 we, we have to get an outcome tomorrow.
is and what what are the possible outcomes um can he get freedom no man hold on it'll be about six months after the submissions i have been i've been made before um the uh before and 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 uh, 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 is is rich, you know? because people six months peop, um at least people are assuming that um by tomorrow vibes carter will be free if 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 he's successful six months at six, least six months at least six months yes we didn't get a response after submissions are completed okay so what are the possible can can, can yet, yet is a mistrial possible? No man, no man. Can 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 the Privy Council take off some years and send him back to continue serve out the rest of the time? They they may they uh, well they can add a they can add a ritual. A ritual. Uh, while 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 the accused stay in a prison and the, the case ritual. That's right. Okay. Uh, viewers and subscribers, tell me what you think. We are going to provide the link in the description down below. Why tell me if you think day one, Isaac Buchanan and Bert Samuels them do a good job for Vibes Cartel. Because Vibes Cartel is supposed to can't sleep tonight. Can't sleep or worry about what will happen tomorrow. Because... If tomorrow not turn out well for you, know it, or you go already. I'm going to face it. Or, you might just successfully name appeal and just wait for them to let him out, you know? So, viewers and subscribers, thanks again for listening to one more our politics argument. And, when I'm in the comment section, make me know what you think about it. Until you soon again. Peace.